Hello, my name is Amanda, I'm a project geologist, and in this video I will talk about stereo nets available on Visible Geology. I will start with the first option of plotting lines. When I move the mouse, the fields below indicate the trench and plunge, and by left clicking I can position it at the location of interest, for example here. Additionally, I can choose to enter the value in these fields, so I will change the trench and the plunge. And I can also move the stereo net and view this information from another angle and better understand what these values mean. Finally, I can play with moving the arrows. The red one changes the plunge and the green one changes the trench. I can also change the color here and changing the name. I will click and apply and remove the visualization. The next one is plotting the plane. Plotting the plane is similar. We can choose where to position the plane's pole by left clicking, for example here, or entering the values below. So I can change the strike and change the dip. Again, I highly recommend you rotate the stereo net and understanding the meaning of the dip and the strike. With the red arrow, I can change the dip. And if I want to change the strike, just move the green one. I will change the name and click here and apply. I will remove the visualization or I can choose to view all the, the values that I did before. The next one is plotting rake. To plot the rake, there is a new feature. I can left click here. And there is a new feature, which is this blue arrow. So after defining the jeep with the red arrow and the strike of my plane with the green one, I have to define the rake that is contained in this plane with the blue one. I can also choose to enter the value here below. I will change the name and click here and apply. So the next option is plotting the circle. I can do that by left clicking on the stereo net. I can change the plunge, the trench, and if I want to increase or decrease the angle of the circle, I can change the value here. I will click and apply. And finally, if I have a model created in Geology Explorer, I have the option of positioning places where I want measurements. And when I go here, Geology Explorer. I have this option the calls. I will create a new one. I will put here. Click here and apply. I will go back in serial nets. And when I click on import Geo Explorer data, it plots the measurements for me and allows me an easy understanding of my module. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you enjoy this tool as much as I do.